Namaste everyone. We'll be drawing the Lewis dot structure of SF6, which is known as sulfur hexafluoride. Now see the electronic configuration of sulfur is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p4. But in addition to this, it also has a vacant 3D subshell because it is a third period element. Now let's talk about the electronic configuration of fluorine. It is 1s2. 2s2, 2p5. Okay, I want to talk about sulfur a little more. Let's draw the orbitals of these subshells. 3s has a single orbital. 3p has, 3p subshell has three orbitals, whereas 3d subshell has five orbitals. One, two, three, four, five. 3s has 2 electrons, 1, 2, 3p has 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 3d has nil. Okay, it is pretty evident that sulfur is gonna make 6 bonds with fluorine. How it is going to be so? Because we are just having 2 unpaired electrons. So the so right now, currently, sulfur can make only 2 bonds. But what, what would happen if this electron, this particular electron, jumped from 3p to 3d now sulfur would have four vacant uh, i mean four unpaired electrons and again next step what would happen if this particular electron jumped and sits here now sulfur has six unpaired electrons one two three four five six six unpaired electrons ue unpaired electrons now sulfur can make six bonds with fluorine this is pretty clear now let's talk about the electronic config uh, we have written the electronic configuration of fluorine the number of valence electrons fluorine has is two plus five which is seven electrons which means according to lewis's rule lewis octate rule it just needs a single uh, electron to complete its octet. So, fluorine makes a single bond, whereas sulfur, with its expanded octet, will make six bonds. Okay. Now let's uh, proceed to the drawing part. So sulfur has six uh, unpaired electrons as well as six valence electrons. So let's draw it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And fluorine had seven valence electrons, which means it just needs a single electron to complete its octet. I'm drawing the fluorine here. Another fluorine, the third one, the fourth one, fifth one and the sixth one. They all are having seven valence electrons. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh one. Okay. So, each fluorine will make a single bond with sulfur. And what happens after making a, a single bond with sulfur? Fluorine now has completed its octet. Let's count the number of electrons fluorine has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Which means all of the fluorines have completed their octet. But notice the number of valence electrons after bond formation of sulfur. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which means it has 12 electrons. Why is it so? Because bond formation also took place in the 3D subshell. And also this particular molecule, the SF6 is, a, is an exception to Lewis octet rule because according to Lewis, each atom 
in a molecule in a molecule wants to complete its octet or duplet duplet for hydrogen and helium whereas octet for every other uh, element except hydrogen and helium so it has not completed its octet it has more than 8 electrons which means this particular molecule is a is an ex, is a, is an exception to lewis octet rule one more thing let's let's find out the hybridization of this molecule so for finding the hybridization hyb let's count the number of valence electrons each atom in this molecule has sulfur has 6 valence electrons okay and fluorine fluorine had 7 valence valence electrons in non bonded form we are counting the number of valence electrons in non bonded form always take care of that by uh, always uh, remember that that while we are uh, calculating the hybridization of molecules we take the valence electrons in non bonded form so fluorine now uh, in non bonded form has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 valence electrons but since there are four, uh, 6 fluorine atoms we are going to multiply this 7 with 6 which comes out as 6 plus 42 48 now 48 is greater than 8 so we are going to multiply 48 by 8 gives us 6 which means it corresponds to sp3d2 uh, hybridization which means the this this hybridization also tells us that the geometry of ss6 will be square okay let me write it here it's square by pyramidal how is it so it is like this square by by pyramidal okay see here we have a sulfur it makes four bonds in a plane in a square fluorine 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 and fluorine this is in a plane and above this there is another fluorine and below this below the self sulfur for example here below okay i'm talking about below part there is also a fluorine in uh, at the tip of this pen okay okay let me uh, check the orientation okay it's fine so one is below let it let me draw it with a dash which means it is above fluorine and one is below the plane of this board so i'll draw it like this fluorine so it is a square and also a pyramid how see like this this one is a square above this is a pyramid having four faces and below this sulfur is also a pyramid having four faces like this four, four faces four faces i mean like this this one this is one face the second face the third face and the fourth face okay so there's a pyramid here and similarly a pyramid below the plane of the surface so this was all about the lewis dot structure and its hybridization uh, hybridization of sf6 uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you